Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a, oh focus camera, you can do it mate. You can do it. No you can't, you're useless. You're useless. So today, <laughs> I'm gonna morph you valid. Today I am, uh, I'm actually really excited. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place, aren't I? Um, so I'm doing a palette collection video plus a little declutter. Now, uh, okay, if you have been watching my channel for a long time, you will know over the last couple of years, I have developed a very, very complicated relationship with uh, my eyeshadow palette collection. And um, I'm struggling. I am struggling with it. I have five drawers of eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I have three that are this size, so these big but fairly shallow drawers. And I have two that are uh, quite deep, um, but not not this big, maybe, maybe half the size or a little bit less. Um, now, ugh, eyeshadow palettes are, well, they were, they were my favorite um, beauty product, makeup product. And um, I have purchased a lot. I have also been gifted a lot. I have received a lot in PR. Um, and I never really had an issue with having a lot of eyeshadow palettes until it got to the point where I, I struggled to even choose an eyeshadow palette to like use on a particular day. Um, and also watching my collection age uh, has also been quite difficult because, you know, there are going to be some palettes in here that you see are quite old. Mavita Loca is one, for example, um, where I don't want to use it, but it, it has some sort of value for me. So it's, it's hard. You know, I, I watch people declutter their eyeshadow palette collections for inspiration and to help motivate me and I'm very proud of what they do but I find when I try to sit down and do that it just is hard for me it's very hard for me so I'm not expecting to get rid of a lot today I'm just expecting to do a little bit of baby steps get rid of a few just get rid of a few um you know see how you go don't put too much pressure on myself We'll just go through the collection. We'll see what we've got that's old, what's interesting, what's fun, what's discontinued, all that jazz. Um, let's also, there's going to be some organizing in these videos. I've got one, or almost all of my drawers actually have now had palettes dumped in them just moments ago from other areas of my filming space um so they all need an organization let's just get into it shut up Haley. this is the 3502 second nature palette so i bought this for very specific colors can you guess what they are literally this section here to be fair i would declutter not declutter sorry depot this palette to get those shades out but it's a plastic one and it's easier to just not do that um i'm keeping it browns and reds lovely i enjoy that oh lorac pro man i love 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 lorac pro palettes i love them i love them i've got a bunch i've got the og ones i've got a couple of these big ones i think there's another one under there this is a number four um and are you ready are you ready you might have already noticed oh hi camera i never used it i'm holding on to it uh this one is the la go la girl hot 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 heat hot hot heat um guys if you see a palette in here that you have sent to me uh as a gift and i declutter it please do not be offended there's just you're gonna see i've got hundreds upon hundreds of palettes actually I can tell you how many palettes I have hang on I did an inventory 
Okay, so when I did my inventory at the start of the year, I had 208 palettes. Now I have decluttered some uh, throughout the year, which is great. My goal is to make sure that I leave the year with less than I come in with. Um, this palette, have I used it? I have actually. I have used this palette. So I'm pretty sure this was gifted. I'm pretty sure. You know, it's pretty bad when you have so much makeup that you can't even remember where it all came from. I'm I'm gonna declutter that one because it's just too it's too much. I've got too much. I'm I've got another one of these and I think I might get rid of them too. These are the Morphe. Oh, I kind of want to keep this one. I'm not going to though. I've got the 25A and the 25B palettes. These are very much same same. Um, they make them look different when they release them, but they're not. I think I will get rid of them. Mavita Loca, man. Anyone who was in the makeup community at the time that this palette was released will understand that getting your hands on this palette was an event in itself. It was an achievement. Um, I managed to get it. I was very lucky. Sephora came to Australia the year that this released and uh, I was financially doing quite well and I bought a lot of makeup and this was one of them. I can say um, the hype behind this palette was, I look, people raved, 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 raved about the quality of these eyeshadows and I don't know why they did because it really wasn't all that great. Um, but you know, this is one of those palettes where I feel like it's going to be very difficult for me to get rid of it because it's a, it's a, it's a memory. It's a memory. Coloured Rain. Coloured Rain. None of these are going. I love Coloured Rain. They make beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Um, I know I've got more somewhere. They might not be in this drawer. Anyway, I've got Cheers to the Beauty, which is a stunner. And have I used it? I don't even know. <laughs> it's a problem, guys. Um, and I've got Queen of Hearts, which is oh, absolutely divine. I love that. I should play with it soon. They are staying. Ah, uh, what do we got? Oh, Suva. I really love Suva as well. Um, I'm going to keep that one. It's the Protégé palette. Um, do I have any more Suva here? Because I know I'm going to want to keep them. I am going to want to keep them. I don't think I have any more Suva, but let's do the Saint and Sinner palette from Kat Von D. I'm going to get rid of this because I hate the colour story. I, why did I even buy that? I don't even know. Jesus, why? Why did I buy it? Uh, Lorac Mega Pro 3. <laughs> I have used this one. I have indeed. I actually really like this palette and I'm keeping it. Uh, let's look at Juvia's Place. So I've got the Masquerade Mini. Oh, I like that they're little pans. I've got the Tribe. I'm going to get rid of both of them because I'm just not going to use them. I know I won't. I'm going to keep the Violet Voss Vibes palette because, look, I feel like Violet Voss, their formula is really nice. I am going to take it out of the box and I'm going to declutter the box. You're going to see some boxes in this video, guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Super intense, bright. I'm keeping that one. It is... It is a pretty one. Uh, Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2. I am going to... Oh, I don't know. Help me, guys. I feel like it's a good little colour story for travel and it's got Rogue. Uh, if you don't know this about me, if you don't watch my content, you've just found me because you wanted to watch a uh, an eyeshadow collection video um something you won't know is that i love red eyeshadows now this isn't a traditional red this is kind of like a brick red kind of um but i like it and i feel like you know what i'm just gonna keep it i'm not gonna i'm not going to get hung up on palettes that i want to keep it's okay to keep my shit oh here we go let's do this one as well um there's a suva palette 
Saffron, I'm keeping that. Love that palette. Uh, and Lorac Mega Pro 2. There she is. I'm keeping that as well. Freaking love my little big Lorac palettes. Oh, this one from By Terry. I love, love, love this. This is, uh, well, technically it's not a palette. Um, but this, I made it at, um, it was Mecca Land uh, last year. And it's one of those ones where you get to choose your shades and then press it. Um, and the By Terry team are really lovely and sweet. And I love this. It's like my baby. I made it. So I am obviously going to hold on to that. Tarte Tartlet Palette. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at those cool tones that I've barely touched. I'm going to hold on to that. Let's do get this hair out of my drawer let's move them aside and let's do Colourpop all right little capsule palettes from Colourpop don't hate these I can tell you that much for free and I'll probably hold on to them um so aha uh -huh, honey and orange you glad I'm pretty sure I purchased yes I did I definitely purchased these two myself this one may have come in PR. This one most definitely came in PR. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm actually going to keep them. I don't hate Colourpop's formula. And I, for little like capsule palettes when I'm going for a specific colour story, I like them. This one is the 27 palette. So Kat actually got this for me for my birthday I believe it was this is a beautiful palette it was actually replaced by the team at melt because mine did some weird stuff uh, anyway there it is it's a gorgeous palette I have not actually used this new one since they replaced it so there we go but I'm not gonna get rid of it I will get rid of the box though let's do that uh, this is Oh man, I love this palette, but only because it's got the little Queen's Guard on there. So I bought this because it is a Queen's Guard palette and I love it. I brought the brush set and all that jazz um, and I'm not going to get rid of it because it's a freaking beautiful palette with a red, of course. Fizz Art. This is the Liaison palette. Let's open this up and show you how she looks. It is a gorgeous purple cool tone stunner i am keeping that i love it oh no oh no okay let's get these out let's make a little pile a pile of goodies to go through okay this is a sugar pill fun size palette oh man i did not 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 really get along well with this formula but i can tell you right now looking at it i cannot not 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 force myself to get rid of it i can get rid of the box though oh this is a surprise this came in pr last year from mecca they sent like a christmas package uh this was one of uh two faces two face two two faced oh, far out one of their holiday palettes um and i looked at this in store and i was just like man no i'm not buying any Too faced palettes this year then this one came in pr and i played with it and i was like god damn god damn i really enjoy the formula and it's a cute little color story if it didn't have the green in there um and maybe even this sort of greeny gold it would probably be like a perfect color story for me to be absolutely fair anyway I'm gonna keep that um, because I like it Morphe this is the 35p palette this is gonna be purple and I don't I don't think I want it I don't want to break a nail getting into this don't yeah no yeah I'm gonna get rid of that I think I just don't I don't I don't feel it. I don't feel the vibe. Um, Winky Lux Coffee Palette. Let's take a look. This was gifted. It's a nice cool toned palette. Good size for travel. I'm going to hold on to that. This is a whatever palette from Colourpop. I'm keeping that. Did I buy it? I can't remember if I bought it or if it came in PR. I don't know. But anyway, that can stay. This is the Tartist Pro Palette. 
Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. Ah, look, I actually really liked this palette. These sort of, these were pretty nice duochromes for their time, but you know, now, now there's a lot better available on the market. I mean, they don't even look that special. Um, these guys are like powder liners. <laughs> And they're kind of fun to play with and by fun I mean difficult uh, anyway I'll get rid of that that's cool I don't need that this is a Disney Snow White 1937 uh, keepsake palette I am keeping this and I am keeping the box that it comes in this is a treasure an absolute treasure I do not like Bessemer's eyeshadow formula but I do not care I am keeping this gorgeous oh god Oh, with a smile and a song, fill the world with sunshine. I agree. That's stunning. Love, divine, happiness in an eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is a Natasha Denona Tropic palette. So this, I actually haven't used this. We bought this for an episode of The Makeup Breakup. We destroyed some of them. They've held up quite well. Um, and then like Kat was using it. She decided she didn't want it anymore. So I took it and I haven't played with it, but I would like to play with it before I get rid of it <laughs> because eventually that will happen. This here is the Solar Look, uh, Beverly Hills 90210 palette. I look, I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's pristine. I haven't used it. Um, yeah, I just, look, I've got too many bloody palettes. To be fair, what I've already got in this drawer is enough palettes for one person for a bloody lifetime because, trust me, you're not going to finish that many palettes that often. Uh, this, again, is the Bessemer Snow White Seven Dwarfs palette. Oh, this was gifted mm, by Anon. Anon knows who she is. Um, and when, when we unbox this on Beauty News and Kat, like, Kat opened the box and she made, like, a noise and then she gave me the palette and I started crying because I wanted this palette so bad and they did not ship it internationally. So here it is. I have dug in. No, don't get eyeshadow everywhere. I have dug in here to... Uh, the reds and some of the nudes. I love this. I love this palette so much. Like I said, I do not adore. <laughs> I would say adore is uh, a very generous word to use. I do not enjoy Bessemer's eyeshadow formula. Um, but I think it, it's more so because they are using very specific pigments to create very specific colored eyeshadows because they are true to the uh like the the movie or the property that they're doing so you know I try not to hold it against them too much but I will never get rid of that because it is an actual treasure There are nine palettes out of that drawer that I am going to get rid of. And you know what? I don't look at a single one of them and feel any sort of sadness. I feel good about that. That's good. That is the goal. Um, I am taking a few palettes out, these long ones. I'm going to see if I can store them in a different drawer. If not, fine. They can go back in here. Otherwise... This one's done. This is the drawer where I keep all of my little palettes, my little ones, things that I like to, to be fair, these are actually the palettes that I like to reach for any time in my life. The smaller, the better, um, but the more pans in the small, the better. So I love, um, you know, little palettes like, um, this, this, this is like perfection for me. Six pans, about the size of my palm, exactly what I want. Um, so yeah, this is my most opened and reached for 
palette drawer. Let's start over here. I have my Huda, Huda palettes. I'm sure I've got, I've got more. Where? Oh, they're here. <laughs> now they're here and they're disorganized because I had them out recently. Uh, this is Amethyst Obsessions. This was actually gifted to me. Eh, eh. There she is. I have abused this palette a little bit. Um, I, okay, let's talk about, this is a neon one, neon orangey one, which I've only used a, less than a handful of times. Let's talk about uh, Huda for a minute. I, I don't think Huda's formula is the best. I think it's extremely, oh, look, I'm going to get rid of that plastic slip. Um, I think it's extremely overpriced for what it is. I think She's got tickets on herself, on herself with her brand uh, pricing, but I do find that often she she intrigues me with her products. I do have, you know, a, quite a few of her eyeshadow palettes. So I've got the nude light here. I have the nude medium, and I have the nude rich. These all pull extremely pinky tone, um, but I still like them. So, you know, uh, let's now do some MAC Patrick Star. These were all gifted. All gifted. I could, like, oh, and to be fair, I fucking love these. I, he, he made the best color stories. Um, so that one is Play With Me. This one, I think it was from the Destination or Travel one. It's called Overpacked. Oh, my God, that is so gorgeous. This one is uh, Sugar Mama. Sugar Mama. Uh, that's a gorgeous, like, khaki cool tone palette. And then we have the Heat Stroke. I love this one. It's got a red in it. Stunning. Keeping them. I, look, these will be like the Mavita Loca. Where I'm like, I'll never get rid of them. You can't make me. All right, what's here? What's what's here? <sighs> Melt stack. All right. Uh, okay, Wet and Wild. This is the House of Thorns palette. I actually have the other one of these. I had two in this collection. Um, one is currently in my eyeshadow project where I'm playing with it. This one I'm going to get rid of. Um, I do want that. But I'm not willing to go to lengths to get it out. And I'm not going to keep it just for that one. This one from Nabla. This came into my life earlier this year. PR. Uh, it's gorgeous. It is a Miami Lights a glitter palette. Look at how like sleek and thin it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Love. This is a little Makeup Geek uh, Caramel Coffee Quad. This is also a really good one for travel. These types of shades here, perfect sort of everyday thing that I want to put on my eyes when I'm just, you know, if I've gone for a weekend away or something like that and I want to wear makeup, that's what I reach for. Um, let's see if I can do some things here. This is a luxury palette from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This was also gift. Dead. I'm not going to keep the box. Uh, this is a vintage vamp. It is beautiful. Love it, obviously. It's staying. I really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. Um, same goes for this guy here, which I purchased earlier this year. Yes, it was. God, this year feels very long. Um, it's an easy eye palette for Charlotte, for the Charlotte Darling look stunning love this palette if she brought out more of these like six pans i would buy them this is uh village 11 factory shimmer prism shadow uh okay so is that correct some help uh this would have come out of a yes style advent calendar is this a oh that's cute that's cute but i haven't used it i haven't used it i'm gonna declutter it they're both, this one is sort of like a metallic sparkly shimmer. This looks to be a satin. I am, I'm going to declutter that. I don't need to keep all of the palettes in here. So let's get rid of some. Um, I'm just going to push these to the back 
<laughs> get, get back, get back. And let's pull out some of these to look through. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, Bobby Brown. I don't want to keep this. It is the Essential Multicolor Eyeshadow Palette Into the Sunset 4, it's called. Um, I'm not going to hold on to that. And I have the Hoodwitch uh, Smashbox Cover Shot Crystallized Eyeshadow Palette. I actually like these little Smashbox palettes. Um, I feel like people have mixed feelings about them. This cool toned one is uh, the Minimalist Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, I have the Major Metals looks like that I don't want to keep all of these I want to get rid of some this one is uh, petal metal that's very nice this one is the matte eyeshadow palette oh oh okay okay <laughs> no now I put pressure on myself to get rid of something I'm gonna get rid of that one for sure because I probably just I don't need I don't need them all and oh, what do I want? Okay, this one's all matte. I'm not going to travel with an all matte palette and I'm not going to pull out an all matte palette just to... Yeah, okay, okay, good. They can stay right there. This art, I don't even need to think about these. They're staying. I bought them earlier this year. I've got the Paris Edit, which is this beautiful baby. Look at that. Guys, that is 12 eyeshadows. Just a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand. That's how you do eyeshadow palettes. Thank you. Uh, and this one spritz. I'm keeping that as well. To be fair, I'll probably buy more of these this year. <laughs> if I can refrain, that would be very good. Let's pull out some, some more. Some more palettes. This here is the Amina Pop Rouge Trio. I actually bought this in Bali. Uh, not last year. Was it last year? Or the year before? I can't remember. Uh, was it last year? I don't know. Anyway, time, guys. I don't, I don't remember time very well. Um, so I bought this because I really wanted to try some, like, makeup from Bali that I knew I couldn't get in Australia. And, um... This was a colour story that I thought felt safe for me and they had a whole bunch of them and they were like, I think it worked out to like four or five Australian dollars, right? And okay, it's a little like trio, so whatevs, but god damn it, then I got home and I used it and the formula is really freaking nice and there were other ones that I would have bought if I'd known that. And Anyway... I'm keeping that one. Uh, this is from LA Colors. It's a nude eyeshadow palette. It is in the color story Bear It All. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, more Wet and Wild. Am I saying more Wet and Wild? Yeah, I've talked about Wet and Wild. <laughs> uh, these are little uh, quints. No, quads. Quads. Uh, they look strange. Um, what have I got here? I've got Flock Party and I have Petalette. Flock Party and Petalette. I'm going to get rid of them both. I don't need to keep them. This is the MAC Claret Luxe uh, Velux Pearl Fusion Eyeshadow Palette. Look, this is like a cream to powder. <sighs> am I going to be able to get rid of this? Yes, I am. Get rid of it. You haven't used it in like forever. Okie dokie, um, let's look at these guys. So I've got Urban Decay Naked Basics. I'm going to get rid of that. I've got the Petite Heat. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of Naked Basics because it's like super light, super light, super light. Kind of mid-tone would look nice as a crease color. Decent outer corner color for like a not too over the top look and then black. It's two shades that I would use. The rest I'm just like whatevs. This little heat one I'm actually going to keep. I feel like it's a good array of light, mid, bit of color, dark. That one can stay. This is from Savvy by DB. You can find this uh, Priceline Australia. 
I actually really like this little palette. I'm not going to lie. I've had it for a while, but I'm going to keep it. That's a dark natural one. Last time I checked, it came in two color stories. I've had both of them. I got rid of the other one, but I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, Victoria Beckham. This is the Smoky Eye Brick in the color story Tweed. I am keeping that. This packaging is so divine. Nas Stephen Klein. Ugh, this is hard. Oh, I'm going to keep it because the reason I keep this is for the the packaging. It's a bit of a collector's item for me. I love me some NARS limited edition packaging. Not a fan of this eyeshadow formula, but they're more, you know, their more recent eyeshadow formula is nice. That's, that's an old palette. Uh, this one here is a Danger Control eyeshadow palette from NARS. This came in PR. I am going to, oh, I vaguely remember being surprised by this. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to get rid of it. Another Vizart palette. This is, oh, what's you call dolls? It is a Petite Pro 5 Soleil. Gorgeous palette. This is the Tartus Pro To Go. But, uh, I thought it was Petite Pro To Go, but it's not. It's Tardis Pro To Go. Uh, I'm going to keep that. I've actually used it quite heavily. I like it. Good for travel. Um, let's do these because they're kind of annoying me. This is the Essence Make Your Own Magic Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, Dreams Are My Reality. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need to keep it. Uh, this is the Etude House Play Color Eyes Palette. Look, I'm not going to lie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of it, but I kind of like it, but I haven't used it for so long. It came in an advent calendar, and I just can't really see myself reaching for it, to be honest. So I need to be honest with myself as well. Okay, let's look at what's in here. Out you come, babies. Out you come. Ah! Oh, no! Let's do these first. Um, Coloured Rain. These are all staying, I can tell you that much. Uh, so, I've got Smoke Show. Stunner. I haven't used it. <laughs> then we have Beauty Rust. This is also a stunner. I have used it. Uh, I have Berry Cute. Have I used this? I'm sure I have. Yes, I have. There we go. And then we have Lovelies. And I know I've used this too because it's got an amazing red in it. She's Lovelies. Some other ones that I'm definitely keeping are my Nabla Cutie palettes. So these came in PR earlier this year, I think. Was it late last year? I can't remember. Anyway, this one, I'm sure it was earlier this year. Um, this is the oh, Wildberry. Wildberry. Uh, this one's Metropolitan. Gorgeous. And this one's Platinum. This palette is absolutely fucking divine. This silver. Luxuriance. Oh! My gold. My gold. Let me swatch it for you. It's just like... Uh, can we... Can we... It's luxurious. That's what it is. Uh, I love it. It's done. Stay. Uh, this. This stays. This is the NARS Provocateur palette. So I bought this uh, last year, I believe, and I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. Am I going to like it? But I need something with this packaging, uh, which is totally something that I do on the regular. Turns out, fucking love it. One of the best NARS palettes. Best, smartest little color stories that I have ever come across. If these were just like tiny tiny pans and in a palette like this fucking big it would be even better oh bare minerals bare minerals i love bare minerals pressed powder formula or pressed eyeshadow formula this is old as the hills but i can tell you right now i'm just not i'm not gonna get rid of it i just i cannot do it oh love game from nas this is also a really really smart color story formula is really nice she stays, she stays, where you want to go, there. 
Sleek. Oh, man. I haven't used these in ages. Oh, but I want to. I want to. I really like sleek eyeshadows. Um, this one here is the Sunset Palette. There's that. I don't think I'll get rid of these. I think I want to play with them. And this one's Goodnight Sweetheart. This one's also really, really beautiful, romantic. I want to play with them. So I will. I'm actually kind of excited to have things out of my stash that like I know I'm not going to use because it means I can I can easily find stuff I do want to use. All right. I'm going to get rid of all of these. I've got the CoverGirl True Naked Queenship palette. Um hang on, let's open them up and show you. Let's not get lazy. So there's that one. Um, I've got two from Ulta 3. These are the Ultimate Eyes palette. These came in PR. I've just never gotten around to using them. This one here is called Feeling Hot. Oh no, it's still sealed. I'm not even going to open them. Um, and this one's Berry Bling. Then I have Wet n Wild palettes. Uh, I've got Not a Basic Peach and I've got Comfort Zone. These are new formulas. I'm... Oh, no, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of them. This is it's too much. Uh this is old as the hills. This is from Sugar Pill. <laughs> that red. Mate, I will never get rid of this palette. That's Love Plus in there. Uh this is a Burning Heart palette, sorry. Uh the formula is is not the same. Uh what they make now is not the same as what it used to be, so <laughs> I will never give that up. Something else I'll never give up. This is old as the hills. Uh, it's the Regal Wardrobe. I have used and abused this palette. And I actually pull this out almost every time I travel. Because it's like a full face palette. And I fucking love it. I love it. No shame. I wish Bare Minerals would release more of these smaller size eyeshadow palettes. I feel like they're... Like, they usually re uh, release them around holidays and in one of the drawers that's sort of over this way that we'll get into a bit later in the video, I'm going to show you quite a few Bare, Bare Minerals eyeshadow palettes from holiday season and they just all look very much the same. And I feel like whoever has been choosing the colours for their holiday palettes, they need to be put into a different department because they need to change things up. They need to go back to being... Um, a little bit sort of fun and playful with their palettes doing stuff like this um, and choosing different color stories because they're getting a bit old and bland. Uh, anyway, let's finish this uh, drawer. This is a melt stack in, <laughs> I thought it was called Rot, but it's Rust. Oh, my battery is dying. So it's the Rust stack. I think I've used, yeah, I've used that shadow once, that once. That looks like I've used it once. Oh, look. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, I never reach for it. And it, these bulky palettes, same with this, same with this. I don't, I, irritating, irritating. These are both from Makeup Revolution. I think they're super, super cute. This is the Maple Glazed Donut Palette, and this is the one of the Easter palettes. Like, I adore this color story. I actually think the formula, formula of this was really nice as well, and I think it's a very clever for people who, like, you want to give a gift at Easter, but not everyone can have the traditional chocolate-style gifts. I am one of those people. Chocolate gives me migraines. Um, so having something like this at Easter. Very, very cute. I love it. But also I am extremely anti-bulky eyeshadow palettes. So unfortunately they got to go and I've got to change my battery. Right. Battery refresh. Let's get into the last of what's in this drawer. Oh, well done me. Look at all that space. Okay. Nah. So <laughs> I love NARS, guys. I really do. Oh, I love... Oh, why are you in there? Your cheek palette. Your cheeky. Cheeky. This is my cheek drawer up here. Oh, I know why I put it in there. Because this one is full. Don't look at it. Um, okay, that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, I love NARS eyeshadow palettes. 
Their formula has come a long way in the last few years. I appreciate that very much. And they make these types of things. These stunning, beautiful, limited edition, magical looking palettes. I will probably collect them until the end of my days. This one is staying. This is the Afterglow palette. Did I get this this year? I think I did. I don't know. <laughs> anyway that can stay uh okay i've got another nabla cutie palette this is the coral one and i think yeah i've got two here so this one's coral that stays and i also have nude um these also came in pr nabla are so generous they send wonderful pr packages and um i am very very honored to have received these products because i love Love, 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 Nabla. I love their formula. It's so good. There you go. In your home. Oh, look, let's let's number them. Uh, that's number two. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Ha ha ha. It's magical. I love it. Okay. This, <laughs> I'm losing the plot. This is from Etude House. It is the... Play Colour Eyes Lingerie Backstage Palette. Ooh, I haven't used this. I feel like I want to. Oh, but will I? Oh, wait, help. Um, oh, no. Okay, so here's my thinking. I look at it and I want to play with it, but. I'm pretty sure this came in the advent calendar this year. Or not this year, but late last year. And this one was the year before, I think. I think that's correct. And I have not used it. Which means I've got too many eyeshadow palettes and I can't keep them all. Oh, this is the... Okay, this is coming out of its box. If I can get it out. Uh, Violet Voss. It is the O oh Snap palette. It's fun size. Okay, Haley, stop keeping boxes. You're you're a freak. Um, <laughs> she stays gorgeous. Ah, uh, all right, Lime Crime. This is the Aquitania palette. Look, gorgeous colors, but I haven't used it in years, so I think it needs to go. And this one. I don't know why I've kept this in the box. I've used it a few times. Uh, it's in Natasha Denona Joya palette. This I got in a Beautylish Lucky Bag. Oh, I think I might get the Lucky Bag this year if I remember. Uh, or early next year. Um, I'm going to keep that. It's beautiful. Will you fit in there? No, you won't. So, stay there. Wait, let's put them there. And let's count how many palettes I'm getting rid of. 22 22 little palettes that's pretty good can't complain about that and uh this actually looks organized and not like a chaotic mess and something else that i really really like well that's yes um let's put this one there uh no that's really irritating <laughs> no uh, yes, it has to go there. Uh, something else that I really like is I'm looking in this drawer and every single palette that I see here, I actually want to use. Like I could grab any of these and be excited to play with them, which is exactly what I was going for because, uh, analysis paralysis when I look at my drawers. Let's do another one. Hoo this one's really heavy. <laughs> okay, these are my sort of standard traditional sized palettes. So you will all recognize many, many palettes in here, the shapes of them, uh, they they fit in here. I, I've been meaning for years since I set up this drawer to um, get something to like put back here 
to support the palette so they don't fall over but I haven't done it because I am lazy anyway what we're gonna do is go through these and try to make them less let's start here shall we shall we start here let's start over here that seems to be easiest yeah all right it cosmetics naturally pretty romantics and naturally pretty palettes um i am going to oh, look i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of sad to get rid of these but i've had them for a long time i never use them and i don't gen i always think when i look at these i'll use them one day and i don't so i don't think i'm gonna miss them if i get rid of them um something that i won't get rid of anything uh are uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I have more of them. I know that's one. Why aren't they in here? Probably because they didn't fit, Hayley. <laughs> oh, God. They're going to be in another drawer. We'll come across them when we come across them. So, Norvina. Love her. I was uh, playing with her recently. Riviera. Never used her. Can't give it up just yet. Sultry, oh, stunning cool tone shades. Uh, soft Glam, also absolute stunner. These have been used and abused, most of them. Uh, one that hasn't is the uh, uh, Alyssa Edwards palette. I haven't used it, but I won't get rid of it. This one is Prism, which I... Oh, man, I want to play with that now. Subculture, I've got one of the, the nightmare ones, but I still won't get rid of it because... To me, this sort of falls in the same vein as um, the uh, Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette. Like it was, it was an event. It was an event in the. My neighbors are banging. It was an event that happened in the beauty industry, and this is my proof of it, my memory. And uh, then there's Modern Renaissance, which uh, I will always love and adore because this is the one that sparked. My love for ABH palettes. I stopped buying ABH palettes when, oh, who was it? They just did one with, well, not just, but uh, their most recent one they did with an influencer. Um, was it, I think it was with Amrazy. And instead of having this exact layout, they had two extra eyeshadows, which is going to make the palettes bigger. And I was like, no. Nah, that's where you lost me, hun. You lost me. But I do have um, Jackie Ina and Carly Bible. Uh, they'll be in another drawer. Don't you worry. We will find them eventually. Um, and then I've got Too Faced. And to be honest, I'm probably not... Whoa, unless I just broke one. Uh, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these. Again, it falls into a category of like nostalgia and love this one was gifted with <laughs> clover palette it is cute it's cute i'm not down with the color story there are nice colors in there but cohesiveness i'm a bit like yeah whatever mate um chocolate bonbon <sighs> something something took a little bit of damage there um look i don't even feel like i should <laughs> man chocolate bar looks ancient but I don't feel like I'm really gonna get rid of any of these like I just kind of I don't know oh that's right my uh gingerbread shade broke I funny when I got this like it was fine it was perfect um I didn't even drop it I opened it one day and this shade was just like shattered so you know there you go. Um, I didn't buy the one that they released last year. Uh, but I just, yeah, I think um, there's probably going to be people who are watching. Who, oh, this was a repressed one. <laughs> Actually, they've held up really well. This looks amazing. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, it's not. You know what? I might actually... I might put this one aside and... Um, have a play with it because if it doesn't perform very well then I will get rid of that one. What I was going to say is I'm sure there's people who are like 
you know, I don't really use my Too Faced eyeshadow collection very much, but I'm also not ready to get rid of it just yet. So there's that. Uh, okay, let's... Did I get rid of any palettes there? Two. Okay, good. Uh, at least I did something. Um, okay, let's have a look here. This is the Balm Nude Beach eyeshadow palette. I really like the Balm's eyeshadow formula. Um, and I like how small their pans are, but this, this is just obsessively, or oh, ob obsessively, that's excessively, excessively bulky for, uh, what it is. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, I've got three Zoeva palettes. So I've got Caramel Melange, Blanc Fusion, and Cocoa Blend. Gosh, these were very, very popular when they released, weren't they? Um, I don't know if I can really do it. Oh, shit. She's pretty. All I can smell are chocolate bar palettes right now. Oh, no, fuck it. I'm not getting rid of them. They're really, they're nice. I want to use them. Okay, this here is the uh, Solar Look Grease Pink Ladies palette. I'm not getting rid of this because I absolutely adore Grease. I adore the Pink Ladies. Also, our channel name is printed on the back here. It says Beauty News Official. Um, so, no, she stays for sure. Also, the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette is staying because I love it. Let's dig into Urban Decay. Fuck, man, how many palettes am I going to get rid of here? Any? Two is not enough. Three. I've got rid of three. It's not enough. Um, so, I have the Naked palette. This stays. It has sentimental value for me. Naked two. Oh, fuck, I hate that. Uh, okay, let's have a chit-chat about that. This is Naked three. Uh, okay, Naked Smoky can stay. I really like this palette. Um, you know what I hate about Urban K Naked palettes? They're really lame with the amount of mattes that they put in their palettes. This one here has like three mattes. This, which is useless to 99% of the population. This, which is just like mid-tone crease stuff. And then a black. I'm getting rid of it. It actually pisses me off. Um, I think I might also get rid of three. I really hate the packaging. It's irritating me. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm just going to keep uh, the original and Smokey. Smokey is my all-time favorite. I reckon it's the smartest naked palette they've ever released. So it can stay. Uh, I'm also going to keep my Lorac... Uh, pro palettes. I love them. They're awesome. And uh, I'm not not willing to get rid of them so they can stay. Uh, Sigma Enchanted palette. Uh, I might... No, nah, I'm going to hold on to that. It, this one has some really interesting formulas in it. I feel like they're quite similar to like Pat McGrath's special formula. Um, but for a fraction of the price... And here I have a whole bunch of Bare Minerals palettes, so let's go through them. Uh, this one is no idea. I don't know. Watch cold, darling. Who knows? That's what it looks like. This is very bulky for the amount of eyeshadows that are in there, but I am going to hold on to it. Actually, I'm going to keep this open because you're going to start to see how things look very similar. Um, this is a Bare Essentials palette. It's that one, so it's basically that, but mauve. Uh, that's actually Pat McGrath palette. <laughs> this one is the uh, Naturals. So that has cheap products in it as well. And this is the Nudes, which is basically that, but cool toned. So you can see they're all looking very much same, same. Uh, and these were just brought out, like, you know, years in a row. So... 
I'm going to keep them because it's one of my like all time favorite formulas. But um, yeah, I feel like they really need to, they need to up their game with the color stories that they are releasing. Uh, Pat McGrath, I'm not going to get rid of any of these because good God, it cost me my firstborn child. This is Mothership 5. I bought this because of that shade. It's pretty special to be fair. It's, it's lovely. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, I personally feel like Pat... Oh, you're so cool with your loud, fast car, sir. Pat McGrath, I, it's just, it's so expensive for what it is. I said it a million times, said it again, whatevs. Uh, this is the Rose Period palette from Suva Beauty. I am going to hold on to this as well. It is a beautiful, romantic, pinky shades. Oh, my neighbor has set up their outdoor fire pit thing and I'm jealous. I can smell it and I want to go and hang out and drink beers and sit in front of the fire. But we're not allowed to. Fucking coronavirus. Shit. Um, okay. Tan lines from Jouet. This came in PR. Unfortunately, I hate it. Or fortunately, I hate it, which means it's easy to get rid of. This is a back talk palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really like it. A uh, Sparkle Baby palette from Sugar Pill and the Edward Scissorhands palette from Sugar Pill. I'm going to get rid of Sparkle Baby because I don't feel like I need that. That's all right. That was Hayley from a different time. Edward Scissorhands palette. I will never get rid of this. I feel like this is this is a color story that is just it. Every single color here clashes with each other in the palette, but I love Edward Scissorhands so much, and I went to great lengths to get this, so I'm keeping that one. Sentimental makeup. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals Go Gorgeous palette. There's that. This I'm pretty sure I got this in PR. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Um, I'm going to keep it. Because why not? Uh, these are my Inglot single shadows. So I bought all of these individually. And there you go. They can stay. And then I have this little selection of things. Um, don't you fall. Don't start with me. Listen to your mother. Okay. Mm. Block Party from Suva Beauty. I am going to keep this because these eyeshadows are like a force to be reckoned with with their formula. Then I have, these ones might be a bit difficult. Uh, Moondust. Moondust from Urban Decay. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? Help me. Somebody send me help. I want to play with them. Okay. If I want to play with them, I can. I can put them in the drawer and if I don't play with them soon, if I don't pop them in my eyeshadow project soon, then it's got to go. Uh, let's put these here because they're both staying. Uh, let's do these ones. <laughs> help. More Urban Decay. So I've got the electric palette. Fuck it, I'm going to keep it. And I've got... Ugh, I've got the After Dark, which I'm also going to keep. God damn, stop putting fucking brushes in your fucking palettes, you guys. You're annoying. All right, screw it. They can stay. Uh, okay, Makeup Revolution. This is a reloaded Iconic Fever palette. I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, and these are the same palette. So this is Bare Minerals Aurora Lights. This was a holiday palette from last year. And this is where they needed to go. This is what they needed to do to move away from what I had showed you previously. Um, I love this palette. It is very, very cute. Very just mm, perfect. Um, where they flopped was not enough mattes. Like you've got this sort of foresty green matte. You've got a black sort of satin-ish matte. And then you've got that. 
and then those two which are too light to be useful for 90% of the population um so yeah that's where like the palette is not perfect but it's kind of on the right track um and this was gifted I purchased this this was gifted and I'm not mad about it because it's limited edition it's one of my favorite palettes from Bare Minerals so you know we rejoice in our small wins and that's what the palette drawer down here is looking like which is great because I know for a fact that I have some more of this size that will need a home very soon let's count the numbers of how many I decluttered nine nine palettes I decluttered from this drawer which is pretty good uh, and I did pull out this one which needs to go into my next round of eyeshadow project thingy to decide if it's going to stay or not I completely forgot that that was even a repressed palette let's move on to the next drawer all right um so this this drawer is fairly organized I have not dug in here to like pull out a palette to play with in a long time um but these two I've slipped on the top because I had nowhere to put them um this one is the it's all good palette from Colourpop I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark and uh assume that this came from PR because I don't remember buying it oh it's a bit cute oh, oh I really want to play with this shade right here um I'm going to get rid of it because I don't, it's not, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, okay, the next one, I'm not getting rid of it. This is the, <laughs> sorry guys, it is a Lolita Porvida palette from Kat Von D. This was gifted to me. This is, I'm not even going to lie, this is stunning. Judge me if you want. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Shit, that is a pretty palette. That is so fucking pretty. Okay, I'm keeping it. I am keeping that one. All right, I've got keep pile and declutter piles going on over here because I need to make some room in this drawer to get out the ones from the back here. Uh, Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it. I have just panned one shade in the... Uh, the cheek palette in my project pan and I'm decluttering that so I'm going to declutter that as well because it's time to go this is from black moon cosmetics it is the uh, black metals palette I'm scared I'm going to break a nail there we go this is staying I love these they are absolutely gorgeous and then I have the Too Faced I Want Candy palette so this was with Candy Johnson I oh, you know what I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm totally going to keep it. It's a beautiful colour story. It was gifted. We weren't able to get it in Australia, so I'm going to hold on to it. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get some of these happening like this. Uh, let's actually do Pat McGrath because obviously I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, what have I got? I've got Mothership 1. This is the subliminal palette dig in and have a look can my camera focus or are we too close or uh, you're struggling camera look it doesn't matter most of you people know what this looks like anyway so there's that one um i did get these palettes 50 percent off which was good because uh paying full price for them in australia is like for some people a week's rent <laughs> And uh, that's not even a joke. This one is uh, Mothership 2 Sublime. Do I have more Pat McGrath palettes? I know I've got little ones. I don't know if I've got big ones. Uh, anyway, that's what that one looks like. I'm just going to say this really quietly. But uh, sometimes I think her packaging, like the boxes, prettier than the products. Okay, Colourpop, this is the Disney Designer Princess Palette. Okay, so, I oh, love Disney princesses. There she is, pretty little palette. I actually quite like it. I think, you know, wearable and romantic. That one can stay. I'm going to also keep it in the box. Sorry. 
there's certain things that I just won't give up. The box of this particular palette being one of them. This one is the Golden State of Mind palette. This actually came as a gift with a purchase. I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't really reach for it. Here are my Huda palettes to have. There's another one. It's hidden over here. This one is the New Nudes. Is that correct? Yes, New Nudes. I am going to hold on to that. I'm surprised this cream thing hasn't grown mold. But, you know, well done, Huda. Well done. This one is Textured... Um, textured rose gold I don't know whatever this is it was her first palette um, this formula so I bought let's get it out if I can I bought this one this was my first Huda palette that I purchased uh, Desert Dusk and I was so blown away and impressed by this palette that I then went out and bought this one by the way I'm keeping this um, and this is not good. Not good. Nope. Soz. I'm just going to hold on to that because it's kind of a part of history. Uh, this from Makeup Revolution. This is a Fortune Favors the Brave palette. Oh, I really want to try this. I love, love, love how these eyeshadows are itty bitty. But am I going to... I really want to try it look well keep it and try it I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hold on to the box because I haven't actually used this and if I don't get around to using it then it's still brand new in its box uh, more color pop what is this oh okay that is uh is that the custom palette that I made uh yes so all right so this is a selection of ColourPop eyeshadows that i chose cool i'm gonna keep them and this is a selection that come in pr you might be able to tell that one broke i am going to uh i'm gonna declutter that i'll pass it on to a friend um this is the androgyny palette from Jeffree Star, which I am going to get rid of because I won't use it. Venus XL palette. I'm going to hold on to this. Um, what else we got? Nude Spectrum from uh, Zoeva. I also have the Matte Spectrum here. What am I keeping? Okay, I'm going to get rid of Matte Spectrum. Please focus, camera. How long have you been out of focus? Stop it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. And oh, I'm also going to get rid of Nude Spectrum. I don't, I just don't really reach for them. Um, okay, this is a MAC palette. These are all MAC eyeshadows. Um, oh, man, there are some here that are like bangers. Oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And um, I have the Spectral palette from Linda Holberg. I'm actually going to get rid of this because I'm just not going to reach for any of those shades. Uh, this is the Forever Flawless Fire Palette. I purchased this because I wanted to play with it and I have not. So, you know, <laughs> well done me. Um, but I feel like... Oh. No. Fuck it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay. Let's pull these dudes out. Have a look at what we got going on. Steeler, this is the Soul palette. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Focus camera. This is old as the hills, but I do not care. I am keeping that one. The Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. I'm going to get rid of that. It's just too bulky for what it is. Too Faced, just peachy mattes. I am keeping that one. And I've got more ColourPop. Hang on. Is that... Yes. This is the last of the ColourPop in this bloody drawer. I don't know if I've got more. Alright. This is a My Little Pony palette. Did I buy this? Oh, it's so cute. Did I buy that? Isn't that bad? I can't even remember. I'm going to get rid of it because I haven't used it. And just because. 
Femrosa. I am going to keep Femrosa. That's a me colour story. I'm also keeping Dream Street. I really like this palette. Really like it. That is the Kathleen Lights collaboration. Um, okay, I've got two old school Yabby paint palettes here. I'm going to hold on to these. Uh, love them. Fantastic. This is a Bare Minerals palette. Again, Old as the Hills. Oh, this shade. This shade is stunning. Um, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I am keeping it. A pretty fun Fearless palette from Ciate with Chloe Morello. I actually love this palette. The metallics kind of seal up a bit. Um, and they can be difficult to apply. I just use a natural hairbrush. Uh, but I really like this palette. I do not like Ciate's makeup formula, though. I think it's gotten worse since this. This was an interesting one because uh, it was created with Chloe Morello. She's an Aussie YouTuber. So this kind of went a bit crazy in Australia. Like, a lot of people um, in the YouTube community ran out and got it. Um, and they love the colour story and all that stuff. Very smart little palette. But Ciate's formula, like, this isn't that great. But it just got worse over the years. I don't even know what they're doing. Uh, okay, and then I've got little Pat McGrath palettes. So there's this one, which looks like this. What are you? You are the Sublime. Then we have the Subliminal, which looks like this. Very good. Cute. Then we have oh, Subversive. Oh, there we go. Pinks and purples and I don't think I've ever used that one. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, and then we have Sublime. Didn't we already have Sublime? Yes, we do. Okay, so we've got Sublime, Bronze Temptation and this is Bronze Ambition. There we go. <laughs> Great. Very good. Let's get these back in here and then we'll count up the empties. Ten pallets from this drawer that I'm getting rid of. Excellent. Go me. Okay, this draw is really not sorted out at all because I just plonked things in here. Uh, okay, this is the Milan Row Iconic Couture palette. I am going to get rid of it. There was a broken eyeshadow in there. I just can't be bothered with it. So off she goes. Uh, okay, uh, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette here. I haven't used this. And I've got Carly Bible as well, which I also have not used. Uh, because I've got too many fucking eyeshadow palettes and it's too hard to get around to using them. Which is exactly the reason why I'm doing this declutter. Uh, but, shit, they are beautiful palettes can definitely tell you that much for free so they both stay okay this is the Lorac Luxe Diamond palette I am oh it is pretty isn't it I'm gonna hold on to that let's let's play with that colored rain this is a power palette love this she stays um okay good as gold from Colourpop did I ever use it oh I like it I like it. I'm going to keep that. I think that came in PR. Uh, Revolution Soap X palette. This is sealed. It's actually sealed. So I'm going to just declutter that because I've had it for a long time. And if I haven't opened it and it's still sealed in like shrink wrap plastic, that says something, doesn't it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Nabla. So, I have heaps of Nabla palettes and I am going to keep them all. Let's see if I can start making a thing happen here. No, no, it's not going to work. Uh, okay, let's just continue. Poison Garden palette. There's that one there. Then I have the Secret palette. 
There's that one there. I haven't gotten around to using these. Uh, Nabla sent the biggest PR package I've ever experienced in my whole life. I think it was late last year. Um, and they pretty much sent like one of everything that they had. And I couldn't possibly get around to using them all. But, you know, one day, one day. Um, this one is Soul Blooming. Oh, that colour story, I can, <laughs> that is some whimsical, stunning, gorgeous eyeshadows going on in there. I think these are the last ones that I've got. Uh, I've got Dreamy and I've got Dreamy 2. So that's Dreamy Stunner and Dreamy 2 is, oh, it's in a box, it's in a box. The box can go. There we go. This one I've used. I remember using that in a video. Oh, my back is starting to hurt. I'm very glad that this is my last draw. Uh, okay, Kylie, Dear Santa palette. I bought this last year. <sighs> Looks like there's been some mess being made. Uh, yeah, I bought this last year. It is my first Kylie palette and um, I've used it like not many times. Probably once. Okay, Revolution Beauty. I have the Velvet Rose palette, which is this one, and I have the Neutrals too. I'm going to get rid of them both because I just don't need them in my life. I've got too many. Um, all right, this is the Vizart Grand Pro, Pro, Grand Pro Volume 2. I am going to hold on to this one. Uh, I'm struggling with getting things to focus uh, with the particular angle that I'm at, but you know, whatevs. She stars. Another ColourPop palette. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, this is their like bright, rainbowy, fun palette. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that actually. I'm gonna keep that. That's cute. Natasha Denona bronze palette. This is my most recent eyeshadow palette purchase. I am going to keep that as well. Is any of this in focus? I don't actually know. Coloured Rain. This is the Safari Rain palette. That one also stays. I have Moonspell from Luna Beauty. Oh man, I want to play with this more. So gorgeous. That, that palette makes me feel a certain kind of way. Then I have Sleeping Beauty 1959 collection. I am keeping this because... Collection? Um, stunning do not appreciate the formula of the eyeshadows. I've already said that. We don't need to continue on with it, but I'm not getting rid of that. I have the Violet Voss Vibes palette. This one can come out of the box. There it is there. Gorgeous, warm, sexy mattes. Uh, this is a backup Urban Decay Naked palette. It is a lot fresher than the one that you saw in my drawer earlier. <laughs> Um, so Kat gave me that. I am going to hold on to it. Uh, then I've got just a few more. Let's do this one before we have a rant and rave about the next ones. Uh, this is the Sunset Palette by Natasha Denona. I'm going to hold on to that. And finally, finally, I have the Conspiracy Palette from Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and the Mini Controversy Palette. Um... Look, realistically, I'm probably not going to use these, but also this is kind of like <laughs> a bit of a makeup history. Um, who would have thought that uh, when this was released, really not, not all that much longer after, um, they would both be... Well, Jeffree Star's pretty much been cancelled for a long time, but whew, Shane Dawson... He took a blow, didn't he? Um, I am hesitant to get rid of these because makeup history, literally. Um, but also, I feel like I'm not going to use them. If I get rid of them, I can never get them again. Nah, fuck it. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them because it was actually sent by Shane Dawson as well. <laughs> so, I'm keeping them. Uh, I'm probably fucking breaking them. That's what I'm doing. Right, you go there. You need to go in a different drawer. If only I had the um, 
oh, what's his name? The James Charles palette still. If I didn't declutter that, I could have put them together and it would have been ironically funny. <laughs> Okay, this is a thing that's happening, um, but uh, not great. I only got rid of four palettes from that drawer. But it's looking a bit more organized, at least. I do also have, wait, where are we? <laughs> We're here. Uh, these Too Faced stupid ornamental things. They can stay, it's fine. Let me tally up the rest of my things. Oh, and there's a palette in there as well. Eh, who cares? Let me just tally up all of my fucking palettes. 54 palettes, guys. That's pretty fucking good. I am definitely going to leave 2020 with less eyeshadow palettes than I came into it with, which is fantastic. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.